Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we were once again working on reform and it was from the bakery and the warden's calling. Uh, the prisoners have settled down about their work hours now so yeah we can put them back onto normal work. Good. Anyway yes reform via the bakery and the restaurant was on the way and it also meant uh, that we had to alter the regime and such which as you can see is now just full of free time. Yeah we had a bit of a problem when it comes to work but hopefully we can now sort this out by uh, doing that. Yeah, reform through the bakery and the and the restaurant was okay, and obviously we do need to manage those as we progress on, but we will do that uh, by rescheduling all programs, and now we have more kitchen safety and hygiene, more, uh, we don't actually need to do those, uh, foundation education program, parole hearings, spiritual guidance, all that stuff, which is good, so good progress, happy with our ratings, we're currently on 9% re-offending rate, punishment at 6, reform 7, security 2, health sadly at minus 1, but we'll see how we get on in this episode, more building, and I think we're going to look at this be putting this in in fact that's exactly what we're going to do go to quick build and cloning i'm going to select all of the building down here so we'll just highlight that there and it would be how much it would be about 30 grand so i've just rotated it round and would that be sufficient if i did that i think it would so click and there is <laughs> cloning pretty much showing the power of uh of the tool so there you are let's just crack on with the building of that and obviously that's going to allow us to get a lot more prisoners so we're going to build that room at minimum i also want to perhaps build this as well which will allow us to get some i was going to say solitary but we've got solitary uh, allow us to get some protective custody we have a couple of people here who are wanting to well, i say wanting or are willing to be recruited as an informant and there you go it means we can if we want to activate them to get more information on the people in the facility which to be fair we don't really need that information because we know all of the traits on them anywhere so there you are anyway in terms of work if we check out our logistics and then prison labor you can see we have got people assigned to these jobs i did reduce them down in other places so hopefully things will be sorted there and what on earth has happened here Destruction and attacked staff. So it looks like this person here, Stephen Wermack, has kicked off. Strangely, I have literally just this second, pretty much, uh, <laughs> got them as a confidential informant, which means that all of their sentence uh, for for being in solitary, it just gets just removed. You've got, no, no, you can go, go back to your cells. So as soon as that happened, they then kicked off curious we need to have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course we've only had two of them do that and then one through the general education course there is uh, agitating radio broadcasts as well gonna do a full shakedown of the facility because it says there are high levels of contraband in the prison not that i can do much if it's been lobbed over the over this which is apparently something that was air quotes added in the going green dlc and has not been fixed was it going green or was it was it the island bound? Either way, not island. I thought island bound. You would get no contraband because it's the sea, but apparently not. Anyway, so obviously building up the top there, it's going to take quite some time to do that. So far, we've only found a very small amount of contraband. So the last twenty-four hours, you can see we've got some booze there, which was smuggled, 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 and stolen, stolen stolen nothing flung over the wall yeah, lots of smuggled stuff and then cell phones okay fair enough it is what it is danger level is going up because obviously a lot of people have been searched so it'll say unnecessarily searched recently yes it does say a lot of that uh, in terms of our programs can we run behavioral therapy yes we can but there's nowhere to run it so Oh, because I haven't built that room yet. But I can do the pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. So I'm going to start that because there's eight in the queue. And reform prisoner consultation. The idea of this program is to change the mindset of the currently incarcerated. Having ex-inmates who now reform speak about their experiences. Requires a meeting room. We do have a meeting room. The 16 interested. I will start that up. So we have kitchen safety and hygiene on the go. 12 interested. No point in running multiples, but... Oh, no, because 12, because they'll be split over multiple things. That's fine. The drink, uh, pharmacological treatment to drug addiction on the go. Foundation education program. Alcoholic scoop therapy. Uh, guard taser certification will be done shortly. Um, it's two in the queue. Ten finished, ten past, 
parole hearings on the go, spiritual guidance on the go, animal therapy on the go, which uh, someone described as wholesome, I noticed in the comments. So yeah, yeah, this it's pretty cool. I, I do like the animal therapy in the game. Conflict resolution is also on the go as well, and general I can start as well. Okay. Solar panel development and flower therapy. And three strikes training, we'd need to do that, which is in the classroom. Let's run three strikes training. So the three strikes training, if I can find it, it's... <laughs> It's getting bloated here. It's a big list. Uh, where is it? Three strikes training. Allowing your mates to interact with civilians that have no relation to them can be a worry for many. This program teaches which actions are and are not okay whilst increasing your mates' customer service experience. They're by psychologists in a classroom. So the idea is to, you know, get them more used to civilians and things like that. That's the idea. It says we're running low on cash, which is true. So I will go over to our grandson take out a bank loan mainly to finish this because you can see we are waiting for well all of this stuff to come in and to do that there's still a lot of flooring and things that i haven't i haven't uh, finished and i want to change the flooring in these two rooms as well the red bit is nice but there's other stuff that people have recommended and you've noticed that we've got a cake nice to do starting a cake stand and apparently we've got a tunnel there that could be legitimate Tunnel search, all sectors. It's a shame we're not getting the cakes hanging around there. Oh, found a tunnel. Yes, we have actually found a tunnel. It's not in the area that I thought it would be. But it is a tunnel, so I will remove that. And it's actually got up to the bed there. Danger level is increasing. I see that there is a critical need for hygiene for some people and luxuries as well. Not too much of a problem yet. I'm guessing some of the issues will be the fact that we've got this huge convoy of stuff. <laughs> See, a huge convoy of trucks because they're building this. I'm just checking its time. Oh, we've got civilian commerce as well. Look at that going up. Are they, are they buying? Yeah, they're actually buying stuff. Oh, there's a big salad. They're buying stuff in from the bakery and also from the from the restaurant. Oh, there you go. Civilian customer. Happy. Really happy with that. Oh, I'm happy too then. If they're happy, we're happy. I'm going to... They've got found weapons. They're currently in say, solitary, but they're also cuffed and having a visit to the visitor table. Hmm, curious. I saw that in reform, released prisoners, one of them was released early. It says, what have we got? We got reformed, cleaning agency. Valo was sent back to the prison. Be careful as prisoners become more dangerous with increased stints. It doesn't say re-offended though. Oh no, Vada re-offended and then, yeah, come back. Uh, Zerkov reformed, work in the restaurant. Parkin is reformed and works in the cleaning agency. Uh, Platten is reformed and they work in the restaurant and Pigeon is reformed and work in the cleaning agency. So a net profit of three grand for the reform. It's because you get five grand penalty. Which is very harsh indeed. Um, so yeah. Apparently a tunnel there. I don't I don't believe it. I really don't. Let's go ahead and see if there's any of these guys want to become a confidential informant. Actually, the easiest way is to go to intelligence and informants, and then you get potential CI, so I can just recruit that informant there. And there you are. The Having the lockup when, I, when we do seems to work out okay, actually. Normally we put it right in the middle, but it seems to be better where we've got it. Over to our programs then, and I'm going to go down to guard test certification and stop that. Don't think we need to run that anymore. Uh, reschedule all programs just to make sure everything's fine. We're getting money from reform, and look at that, 850 shop sales commission. So actually we're, we're earning a decent amount of money, M money? money through the bakery <laughs> uh, and through the restaurant as well. Reform Prisoner Initiative is one of the grants we are currently working on. 21% on that one, which is good. It says high levels of contraband, so we will do a shakedown in all sectors. Why not? Why not? And I wonder when the broadcasts are going to stop as well. Oh, we're also going to get some more prisoners now. Good. Let's go over to deployment and start working on our patrols then. So we want a... Blue patrol to go along the outside, so this will go like so, and there we are, and that's going to have a dog handler assigned to that. On the inside, we have a blue patrol and we have a magenta patrol, so this will go to the end, across, 
There's the blue patrol, then a magenta. The reason we have the different colours, if you don't know, is basically because they don't then cross. And there we go, there's the assignment of the guards. Um, yeah, that's a bit silly, that, if you notice. I've got this patrol there, so they'll come to the end and stop. Why don't they just go all the way around? They'll just do a circle. There's no reason not to. So you can see we've got a baton, two medicine, a booze, cell phones, drugs, and a booze ingredient. Curiously, a baton. Where would you find a baton? See where we've bat on. Oh, it was stolen from security. Bold as brass. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very bold of them. Anyway, we're pretty much sorted. I'm gonna stop the shakedown. Chief's also calling. Radio host apparently fired. Alright, so we don't need to worry about radios, not that we were particularly worried in the first place. What I am a little bit concerned of though is that we are increasing our prisoner capacity because obviously we've put this in. But Let's lock open that jail door. Um, the problem is that this, these trucks still keep arriving and we're probably running out of stuff. Like, no, no, we've got ingredients, we've got food trays. It's not too bad. But we have just got Vito Corleone, is that? Yes, the Godfather. Well, wow, prison number 2021641. Convicted for arson. Hmm. Yeah, danger level is flying up. Why is it flying up? Exercise needs. Some critical exercise needs. Well, the yard's in. And they say they're exercising. They're shouting about drugs. Exercise drugs? That's Hawkins in lockdown. But he's not being escorted. We have a level lev 11 available guards. I'm gonna hire some more staff. Because we are getting a lot more people as well. We've got some early releases. Reform. Released. Restaurant cleaning agency. And restaurant. But net is still only a grand. And also what's happening there? Scanner machine saying it's not working. We've got it connected, haven't we? Yeah, it's connected. Is it because this is full? I'm not sure. Either way, we're scanning it. Um, I'm going to decrease our bank loan. We don't need it anymore. Money is still in the positive, And we got enough to finish this. Obviously, there's no power and no water, but we'll run those shortly. Cell block C is to increase the prisoner capacity to 100, which we should do with the building of this. The levels of contraband in the prison are out of control. Curious. Not too sure what else I can do there. Reoffending rate has dropped to 7%. Punishment has gone up and health has gone up as well. We are heading in the right direction. We are spending a lot of money as well on reform. So I would hope that that is the case as well. Everything is alright there. We have three strikes program. Allowing inmates and civilian delinquents to interact should have a positive effect on both as long as the inmates have either been trained or have the correct level of customer service experience to interact with the delinquents. Led by a chief in the common room. Session length is two hours. I would have thought it would be in the meeting room, but sadly it's a common room, which means going here. That's a bit of a shame. All right. Not going to do a shakedown because we've been doing quite regular shakedowns. You know, it says levels of contraband are out of control. There's not much I can really do about it. Apart from sealing them all off. <laughs> you don't leave. Um, I don't know what else we can really do. Building in here is still underway. I don't know why there's a door there. Why is there a door there? When did that happen? <laughs> That's very strange. I probably just accidentally moved it. But it's still classed as a legitimate room and everything, so... I don't know. Oh well, it matters not. As long as we fix it, that's the main thing. Oh, looks like Shadow is getting searched. 
Yeah, it looks like the metal detector went off, but nothing else happened. Curious. There's LaCroix there. Benny Slimo LaCroix. Hmm. Like the drink or the prince from Bloodlines. Nasty piece of work that person was. Getting a lot of dingling noises as well. I'm not too sure why. Uh, is there anything in bureaucracy we need to unlock? We don't have guard towers. We don't have orderlies. We don't need any of that. Definitely would like to get the offshore tax haven. Don't need recycling initiative or farming or forestry. Legal prep. Legal prep is probably the way forward. Oh, prisoner intake. So, a lot of these prisoners would have been sent a while ago. In fact, they would have been sent when, when, once we start getting uh, this stuff built. But only now because... <laughs> only now because of the... Um, the vans have disappeared that we actually get all this. So, there you are. Wow, our daily cash flow has gone right up. That's brilliant. Okay. Skilled fighter and supplier. Lots of unknown traits. Instigator, tough, green thumb, skilled fighter, volatile, strong, fearless. Supplier. Let's have a look. Able to produce narcotics much easier than other inmates. Yeah, I thought so. So, 31 grand. Cash flow is good. Punishment 7, reform 7, security 2. Death row. We're not going to do that yet. I do stress yet. I think we are probably going to have some eventually. The warden's calling. Prisoners are apparently unhappy with how little free time they have in their daily schedules. The guards hearing that if things don't change soon, the prisoners are going to start causing damage. Increase free time to at least six hours a day. Okay. Well, it likes flinging these at us, doesn't it? There you go. So you would think work slash free time would do it. But no, it has to be free time. Well, that's really annoying again because we can't run these programs now. I think the next time we do a series, we'll, we'll turn the events off. That is a lot of intake. <laughs> that is a lot of intake. Because, well, this is getting built. It's hard to see exactly what is in need of finishing over here. Obviously, it's giving us an alert to say what hasn't been built. And, oh, just as we were talking about that, it's done. So I will dismantle that door, like so. I will also go to walls and doors, and then the walls minimum sec, and then place that in like so. And then, naturally, we need to do some power management. So power will run down to there, and then water will do something similar. Uh, in terms of connections, it just goes... Does it go straight across? It does not go straight across. I nearly made that mistake the first in the first instance, which obviously is not ideal. Put caught in the end, and then it is there. So I'm just running my mouse up just to line it up correctly. So down to there, because we know that the bottom works in terms of the distances. So if we just copy that, then we can't really go far wrong. Okay, good. Good, good, good. 15 medium security shortly. We have got that grant done. So what are the grants can we pick up? We've got cell block D, prison manufacturing facility, basic farming, eco-friendly, green machine, uh, criminally insane. We're going to go with prisoner manufacturing facility. And I think we're going to go to foundation. Richard Tricky Dick Nixon. Ah. We have Richard Nixon. Prison number 2286569. Apparently manslaughter. Wow. They've got 56 years. And this is a normal risk prisoner. I very much doubt it. Hmm. Snitch. Yeah. I thought it was going to be something like that. But there's nothing I can really do about it. Because as I was saying before being interrupted by that alert. We wanted to build this building. So this building is going to be for our protective custody prisoners. Did I change the uniform colours? 
I didn't. So it's in yellow. So I think this then, well, we want to have this as yellow, but the big difference is this is manufacturing facility on the outside. So I'm not really too sure what to do. I don't really want the whole thing as yellow. I could go with the these walls. I could just build the middle bit is yellow and then put the outside uh, the perimeter walls here is something else for the workshop yeah I think we'll do that I think we might as well might as well just get a bit of color into it to be honest so let's build this so this is our wall yellow and we need to go with walls and doors doors large jail door yellow one there and then technically one there once we put the other stuff in I mean, technically all the way along there as well, but you, you get the idea. Anyway, so we will do that. Looks like Churchill was trying to sneak a knife through. That's a Jack, Mad Jack Churchill. Should really look at our reform. Average punishment grade is 9. Reform grade is 9. Average work experience is 1. That's very poor, but we've had a couple of events that stopped them from working. Security grade is 4 and average health is 2. Looking after general well-being of prisoners and the treatment of addictions will improve the average health grade in the prison. I guess what also improves the health grade is in our, um, where would it be, policy and food. So, medium quantity. I think we're going to change it to high variety. It costs us more, but we've got money coming in. I don't particularly mind. What I do mind is that the fact that there's nine dirty plates <laughs> stopping that door from closing. Thanks, game. Cheers. That's uh, that's that's helping us out massively. Right, okay. <laughs> In terms of guards, then, I don't think we need any more. We still have the big area, well, this area here where they're all congregating, and I don't know why. There's a little graffiti on the back of that arcade cabinet. Needs are fulfilled. Oh, look at that. That's, I mean doesn't get much cleaner than that in terms of the needs so I'm pretty happy with that let's just check see if any of these uh, for being an informant hang on every time I click on there there's a prisoner there I'm gonna click on him right uh, it's just gonna be easier from intelligence and informants potential CI yeah lots of potential CIs so a recruit informant a recruit informant a recruit informant and there you are. So I've a lot of traits that I don't know what they are. So I want to activate, I think, some of these, or at least one or two of them. Just to try and find out exactly what the deal is. I think that would be a worthy thing to do. We can see that the prisons now, we have a lot of, a lot of uh, prisoners here. Well, 86, maximum is 104. There's an OD. We are picking them up and taking them to the infirmary, which is good. But yeah, over here is... Uh, it's alright. The size is sufficient. Okay, so this is going to be our protective custody area. It will be powered up shortly once the lights are actually in. That's why I was going to say, why, why is that not powered up? That's because they actually haven't placed the walls. Uh, placed the light, should I say. We are going to be placing the walls now. So this should be a fairly simple task, I think. Although a little bit time consuming. But it matters not. And there's the walls. And there we go. High levels of contraband in the facility. Let's do a shakedown. Because of where we have the patrols, not just inside but also on the outside, I'm not particularly worried about tunnels. It's mainly climbing over the fence that's the problem. And I'm genuinely thinking of spending some of this money that we have, 76 grand, on building a perimeter wall. And just having a perimeter wall go all the way along. There's the tunnels, and looks like they might have been... Probably going to work together, I would guesstimate. But we have found the tunnels, which is good. So there's contraband. The only thing really that we've seen extra is the, the rolling pin from the bakery. Oh, there's bread on the floor. It's not where you generally store it. 
Although it depends what type of bread, I guess. Right, one thing I want to do is go over to our flooring and to... Where is it? Checkered floor. And this is something that people have suggested in two or three videos comments ago, actually, and I've just not got around to it, is to change the flooring in here to the checkered floor. It'll match up better with the walls and with here and the other flooring. And it should apparently work out all right. These people are wanting it. And Whoa, okay. Whoa, ho, ho. Murdered by a prisoner with a knife. Was it Rogers? Paul Rogers. Extremely volatile. Yeah, could have been. Oh, look at that recent misconduct. I'm going to assume... <laughs> yeah, they're going to re-offend. Yes, what a surprise. There's the bakery. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I actually like the red. The red is nice, but this does work. That's a nice varying order. We've got steak and chips by the look of it. We've got a nice fresh salad. What appears to be maybe a mushroom or potato soup. And maybe a... I don't know, some sort of spinach soup or something. Spinach and nettle, perhaps. Conflict resolution going on there. Do we need any more staff? I don't think we do. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. I'm getting served. Look at the commerce. Commerce is great. Okay. Right. That's pretty good. So we do need to build these. Uh, this is going to be for a start deployment. That's protective custody only, the whole thing. And what's the best way of doing this? Probably the best way of doing it is but yeah, actually they'll just stay in there. Do we need lockdown permanent? I don't know. What I'm going to do, though, is go for offshore tax saving and permanent punishments. Requires a lawyer. We have space for a lawyer, actually. There we are. So, a lot of money spent, so no permanent wall, but that offshore tax saving will take us down to... I think the tax relief is 15%, yes, and then the next one is 1% corporation tax. Which is ludicrous when you think about it. But there you are. Yeah, we we are getting a filthier prison, but that's because the prisoners ain't working as much. They're only working four hours a day, I think. Uh, regime. One, two, three, four, five hours a day. So yeah, that's why we have a problem there. We can, to be fair though, assign more prisoners to prison labour now. And to cleaning cupboard and just all these places in general. Because we have a lot more prisoners. So I think it's worth uh, worth, uh, worth us doing that. Okay. Good. Right. I think we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect and decent bit of building. We've got these looking better. And I do think they do look better. We've got an entirely new cell block. Almost double the amount of prisoners that we started with. And we've got this building that is ready to go. So next episode, we will at minimum complete this building, which is our protective custody area. So that'll be security room, all the protective custody cells, which will have a lot of things in there. Certainly a lot more compared to the standard cells. And then we'll have things like a common room and a... Uh, what's it called? And a canteen in here. So they never have to leave that protective custody area, which we'll have to figure out a way for them to stay there. But overall, pretty happy with our progress. And yeah, I don't think it's going to be too long before we end up thinking about expansion. Realistically, we've got this building and we've got the workshops and then solitary. And another room there. Yeah, not too long. Bit of flooring in such a place. But other than that, it's getting close. And we'll obviously discuss that closer to time. But Hmm, not too bad. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>